how to microwave bread remains this man's biggest achievement. He figured out how to microwave bread. He's, he's a god. His name is Brian Emmanuel, aka Rich Brian. He's rich. He ain't just no regular Brian. Okay, now he a, he a bull and Brian. He rich as fuck. He's a rap artist. He blew up off the song Dat Stick, which is a bit of a comedy, meme jokey song. Now he's 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 seriously coming through. He's, he pre he's proven himself to be a talented guy. Look at Amen, man. He made all the beats on that thing. He writes all his own bars. Shout out to Rich Brian. He's making the music he wants to make. But do I like the music he wants to make? Does Liam the music reviewer like? the music he wants to make. Well, you're about to find out the answer to both of those right fucking now. Yeah, wanna do this shit, it wasn't nothing accidental. Hey, this shit got so boring, had to switch it up a little. Sick. Can we get a round of applause for Liam, the music reviewer, everyone? Look at this guy, look That's at this guy. Got his water on deck, consistent with the hydration. <laughs> we stand. We're here to discuss uh, Rich Brian with his brand new project, the Sailor. Uh, this is a debut album, I think. I think Amen was um, like a, a project. I think he called it like a project. Yeah. I don't think he called it like an album. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, I think this is being marketed as like the debut full length album. Your review of Amen, Liam, was the first I ever watched of yours. And that was, that's the. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, I thought it was great. I love the editing in that, man. I think it's a great video. I and mean, I was, I was captured from that point onwards, you know, so. But look at us now. Was, what a, what a I, <laughs> progression. We've glowed up. We've for, glowed yeah, up for so real. Have Absolutely. <laughs> I was pretty excited. I can't lie. Um, I thought the singles mm -hmm. were, were really cool. So, uh, yeah, were you the same? Were you quite eager to hear this one? Like, yeah, I, I thought that Amen was alright. Like it was a decent yeah. project, mm -hmm. if that's what we're gonna call it. Well, like that was a. I, I liked that. That was a, a good. Nice that track. was a good wee yeah. single. I remember there being some bad features on it though. I remember there being some bad features. But it was a oh, very yeah, like. Yeah. I really remember Joji like. Oh yeah, oh, on um, that one, yeah. Yeah, I think the song was called Introvert or something. And there's that other song he had on that where he's basically it's basically him just talking about him trying to have sex with this girl. Oh my god, yeah, Kitty. Like the one, is it, is yeah, it Kitty? Kitty? Yeah, that was that was oh. the one. Oh, fucking no. oh man, yeah. that was bad. My expectations were like, it was like a flat line. I was kind of like, I wasn't excited or like really dreading this but then i listened to the f i don't know if it was the first single but yellow yeah um, yellow that was the that. first single that's that's true i was taken aback by yeah, that like i was yeah. just was not expecting something that sounded so i, I guess professional is hard to kind of define but like it just sounded like the production had been like upgraded yeah. tenfold like the care put into it just felt like like he was taken a bit more seriously but not like mm. leaving out his kind of charm to it and that like it just felt like such an upgrade is what i'm absolutely, trying to say absolutely. like absolutely it sounded to me like something that he could not have pulled off back when amen mm -hmm. came out like he's really oh yeah like he's really like sat down and honed in his ability to put, pull off like a really ambitious song mm -hmm. like i feel like he's really tried to sort of up the ante in a significant way that's like noticeable mm -hmm. you know because like because amen i thought the production on amen was one of the best parts he's got a good ear for you know Mm -hmm. constructing music and just like constructing a solid yeah. groove a solid beat and melody so he has like he has like talent in that area so to see him mm -hmm. level up this much was quite it's quite something I, I don't think he self-produces this whole album though but but still mm -hmm. you can tell like I, I think i think it's safe to assume he would have the main creative you know helm behind it. yeah, yeah. there was some input there definitely 100 yeah. percent, man mm -hmm. and uh and yeah i do think the production again for me is the the strongest part of the sailor i don't know if you agree ah, with that but you, do you think so like there's just so many like points on it like there's the transition from the title track into uh, i can't remember what the second yeah, was called yeah, uh, rap -a -pa -pa, rap -a -pa -pa. Rap -a -pa -pa. the, the transition into that is just like when it happened i was like oh man that was nice <laughs> um yeah, yeah, for sure. i'm trying to like that that was kind of like the, the big one that i can remember but even just like like i say with like yellow mm. um I just felt so like I, like I would call this like a hip hop album, a rap album. Yeah. Like it did feel, it did feel so mature and like That's he, true. it felt like he was drawing influence from like genres that like you just wouldn't expect them to. Definitely. Oh yeah, I would be like um, if you handed me that song without telling me who it was who it was by, I would not mm -hmm. go for Rich oh, Brian. Yeah. You know, so you would not guess. So it. that just goes to show that yeah. he is really trying to push himself outside of what was mm -hmm. seen as his typical comfort zone before. You know, I, I always love to see an artist like blossom into a genuinely a new era of their career that's like separate completely oh, from yeah. the last. That definitely is what that single indicated, and also the kids' single 
Sure, sure. That mm. same, sure, like that was something completely different as well. That was more of like a like a Kanye mm, West absolutely. Wii Major type, huge like soul song. Yeah, I, that was. Yeah, yeah. That was the exact. Like when I listened to that, I was like, <laughs> oh my god! Like I was getting such like Kanye vibes from it, and also, sure, like yeah. it's all, like it's always difficult to like not hear like a young person come up because like pretty much like every young person the big <laughs> so like, like like back in the noughties like it was obviously kind of like the young ones that come out would be like oh they'd be talking about like kind of tupac and yep, biggie and that that's true. but now that we're in like the late 2010s like every single young person like kanye's got to be an influence and i know sure, that yeah. um he said i think he self-taught himself I, I don't know if this is like a i don't know if the house truth is but like, i think he self-taught himself yeah English yeah, via, yeah, like, yeah he did yeah, that's, you, yeah i think he said yeah. on the song i think it was the track uh confetti he said like you mm -hmm. use the internet to hate i used it to change my fate and i was like damn that's yeah fucking crazy. that was like, like five years ago i think you said in a tweet somewhere five years ago he didn't know a word of english that's fucking crazy like that is yeah that's actually insane. inspiring basically that's what i was trying to say is like if if, yeah. if that's how he like managed to teach himself English, it would make sense that like one of the first like big rappers that he'd make himself kind of like familiar with would be someone like Kanye. So like yeah. that that influence there was like huge. So how did you find the Sailor River Rule? Did it live up to what you were expecting, or did it fall short? How are you feeling ultimately? Because I'm a, I'm a bit conflicted. I don't know about you, but I'm a bit on the fence. Conflicted is like the ideal word I yeah, would use as right. well because on the one hand, yeah, the production definitely just feels like there was more care given to it but on the other hand there's still a lot of like and i'm not one of these people that's like dead kind of like up at a and being like folk talking about sex is like oh like that but just like the way he goes about it just strikes me so kind of juice worldy where i'm like yeah oh. he has got a few lines he's talking about like oh yeah she swallowed my sons yeah my son and my twins like it's just a mm -hmm. bit it's just like no one's really trying to hear that it just he does it in really inopportune mm -hmm. times i think like on the track of curious uh, he said like, what did he fucking say? He said something really corny on Curious. He was like, she wants the perfect man like me. Like I'm smart and I'm funny and I have a big <laughs> dick. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit that's, that 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 line got a laugh out of me. But, like there was one where just, I, I just maybe it's just because I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, sure, but, like there was yeah. lines where he just keeps going about like his sons, like oh he's giving this girl his sons, like oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah, have my right. twins and the son. And I was kind of like, he just sounds so detached from it like yeah, i just i feel like so when i hear accurate. yeah i agree i agree i don't know it seems yeah. kind of immature and like and not I say agree. like his immaturity has no charm because like i say that um that a uh, girlfriend line got a laugh out of me but it's yeah, like yeah. i don't think he's quite got the he's not quite got the tyler balance as i'll call it just now where it's like yeah. okay you've got your immature kind of childish quirk but also when it comes to actually being that kind of like honest like mature person you can be that as well like yeah, he's yeah. Not... it kind of feels to me like he says those kind of lines because he feels like he has to or something or like because it's like mm. this in hip-hop and you bra you're bragging about Aye. it i mean it just kind mm. of feels like he's just doing it because that's just what you do and it's just it just feels a bit tasteless sometimes the way that i left this album feeling was like i'm excited for the next one because it feels like we're kind of getting to that point we're getting closer but yeah. after we finish this review would uh consider returning to this album maybe for a song or two but i don't know i feel like as an album it's just not quite got the the lure to it i don't really yeah. feel like i'm quite like, like fine as, i'm not really finding much of a reason to jump back into it mm. Um, but I don't know about yourself. Is there any kind of like kind of real like cruxes to this that are like that bring um, it down to you? Some of the lines are just really bad on this thing. Like there were just some really bad <laughs> yeah. bars, man. Bon appetit. Just... Bon, bon appetit. I was gonna, like... I was gonna say that. Was... <laughs> also, the line where it he said, like um, "Amazon Prime flow, I always <laughs> deliver." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, some of these bars just had me just wincing, dude. There was there were some bad ones. Yeah, and I think some of the hooks as well were just very annoying. Like I wish. Mm -hmm. I could get behind the song Confetti because I think that beat yeah. is dope, but um, mm -hmm. the hook, the, the confetti, oh my god, <laughs> it just really just doesn't work, man. It doesn't work on that cold-blooded mm. beat. It doesn't. It just. It just does. Just two very contrasting things. Then you have the hook on um, Rap Pa Pa Pa, where he's like, uh, oh. she's older than me, but she calls me da 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 da. Da, yeah. da, da, da. Oh. <laughs> Throughout this whole album, Brian just kind of felt like he was just like chucking on outfits. Like at one, I can't remember exactly what song, but it kind of felt like, okay, he's trying to do a Drake thing here. Mm. Um, and another song, it felt like, oh, he's trying to do a Kanye thing now. Yep. And I think there's certain points for this whole album where I was like, oh, uh, Brian finally got around to listening to Damn. Because like, I don't know if you got that feeling, but like in the first yeah. track near the end, 
Whereas like it says like he's trying to like ponder. Oh and shit, that. dude! I thought kinda... the exact same thing. <laughs> I thought I was. I remember listening to that. This kind of reminds me of the Dam intro because he's got like the kid coming yeah, up to uh -huh. him and shit. I thought that exact mm -hmm. same thing. That's crazy. I just kind of wish that track was just the first half, but longer because the second half. Mm -hmm. I was like, what are you trying to do here? Like, this kid walks up and says, open your eyes. Bohemian Rhapsody fucking singing going on. I was like... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you... You're oh, just like trying my. to shoot for something bigger than this album really is. People can say what they want about Dan. At least with Dan, like, throughout the whole album, like, it was building on what it originally starts off with. Exactly. That's and, like, it's actually trying to aim themes. for something bigger. But Brian's just not doing that at all. The album that we kind of wanted this to be when we heard the singles, mm -hmm. this album I think proves that he has the capability to do that. Like, he currently now has mm -hmm. that level of skill to pull off that album we were kind of hoping this was going to be. It kind of feels yeah. like he wanted this album, like, the sailor, to be like, kind of like big concept yeah, thing right. of like, oh, he's yeah. he's, com he's coming over and it's like his journey yes. in that. That's what but, he was and saying. it feels like... And, and then, well, I'll, are you wanting to go uh, on? I'll let, you, I'll let you, like, continue that thread there, because I feel like we probably got the same thoughts <laughs> anyway on that. Yeah, right. So the sailor, the idea of the sailor is supposed to be, like, a symbol for someone exploring new territory mm -hmm. and seeing what's out there. And mm -hmm. this album's supposed to be, like, a, an album to inspire kids that were like him or from, like, a mm -hmm. foreign country that you can just go explore, like, do, like, follow through with your dreams and, you know, you can get there. Mm -hmm. You can, like, like you said on the kids, like, he used to be the sailor, now he's the captain. He's sort of trying to say, like, come with me, like, mm -hmm. you know, join me on this journey and stuff. And I feel like that's a great message, but that message mm -hmm. is kind of lost in translation when you, every other track he's yeah. talking about, like, giving and giving <laughs> some hoe his sons or some shit. It's all just mm -hmm. really loose and unfulfilling, I think. I feel like there's a decent concept that could be here and, like, it's, it's kind of like, I feel like he thought there was something more to it than there actually yeah. was because like 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 we've said like it feels so kind of like it would be like like that mount eerie a look to me album like him like mourning over his wife and then he has this like song about going out to the club and talking about yeah. shots and stuff it'd be like okay that's just like you can make an album about that all you want about the nightlife <laughs> yeah, but, like yeah. this just makes no sense and like what you're trying to execute in the same here it just feels like he's having trying to have this whole kind of like epic adventure or just say yeah. like i'm i'm going over I've proven everyone wrong, I've proven myself wrong, mm -hmm. but then he's just sort of like, basically just doing what you already did on Amy. And like you say, the production can be like, genuinely quite surprising and yeah. quite cool. I would not expect this kind of stuff from like, a Rich Brian sure, album, like it's, sure, just, it's a total kind of curveball, mm -hmm. but I just wish there was more of that, like throughout the yeah, album. I would, yeah, feels... I feel like you should embrace those like, kind of risky moves a bit more, because there were some mm -hmm. tracks that were just a bit kind of... Just kind of safe and didn't really offer much that he hasn't really pulled off before, like 100 Degrees, for example. Like, that wasn't the worst song in the world, but I just don't really see what that thing really brings to the table that's all that interesting. It's just a bit filler to me. And some tracks were just absolute messes, too, like the Closer and Slow Down Turbo in particular. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They just kind of jump from one idea to the next without really considering the potential in that idea i think slow down turbo mm. it started off kind of like atmospheric and dreamy then he starts like rapping mm. really quickly and then his voice will get so high pitched that it goes back to being dreamy i'm just like you're taking me to too many places it's just not nothing's it's all hanging by a thread you know there's nothing to quite latch on it's not kind of like, like kendrick on mega mortis like he's going so fast but he's actually gave you something to latch on so when yeah. like it's going like 100 miles per hour you're like you're, you're hanging on by your fingernails, but it's like, okay, I've got something to be here for, whereas, like, Eminem on Rap God, it's like, <laughs> okay, mate, like, yeah, it's you're just, just, you're just saying, yeah, it's just... Uh, you're, you're just doing it for the sake of it, like, it has no purpose in the same exactly, when it comes to... Like... Rich Brian has, I want to say, impressive delivery, but he's not got the kind of substance to it, where I'm kind of mm. like, okay, that's an impressive flow. You've got yeah, the delivery, but you've not true. quite got, like, the actual Definitely, flow, man. which is disappointing. Yeah, like, like with, um, like, with Rigor Mortis, that's a great 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 mm -hmm. point because the the beat on that track also has that kind of like oh, yeah. fricket of like feel to it which mm -hmm. really lends to the speedy delivery so it all yeah. kind of all kind of meshes you know and the closer with a joji man like that at one point again it's oh. going for something soft and then it's going for like a trap beat and then the, and all they're really singing mm -hmm. about ultimately is how like oh you can't trust these hoes and i was like yeah, oh. like it has the musical ambition but mm -hmm. it just hasn't got mm -hmm. anything tying all these ideas together that really makes for something fulfilling at all to me it, it does feel like two different albums mashed together in terms mm. of like the intent because like you say like the last song is literally just being like yep yeah, don't trust them like they're, they're no good and it's like but you've just had that whole song about like like drive safe where you're like you also care so much for this person yeah yeah and it's like 
okay, like, so you're going from respecting them to just kind of, like, generalising them, like, it just doesn't yeah, it's really weird. add up. Yeah. It's just so, it's frustrating. It's yeah, a really frustrating yeah, lesson, sure. so it is. That's, that's I, how I would describe it. I really do agree, man. Most of these lyrics are just kind of like braggadocious filler, which is what Amen kind of was for the whole, the whole mm -hmm. time. Lyrically and topically, I don't really think he's jumped anywhere near as much as he has musically. And maybe that's the mm -hmm. next leap, I guess. But, but I think there yeah. are great ideas on here. I think some of the songs sound mm -hmm. fantastic. And I think he's reached a point where he has the ability and skill to pull off something impressive. But it's just a matter yeah, of absolutely. like honing it into a, a consistently like surprising and exciting album, which I just don't think this one really is. I think right now I'm going to go with like a, a solid five on it sure, because because sure. a five's not like a bad score it's just kind of like you're, it's just like bang right in the middle for me i'm in the same boat as you where i'm like there's just some there's good ideas here and maybe like i have the idealized version in my head when i'm listening to it where i'm like oh yeah, i can yeah. really feel it and maybe by the time the next album comes out we might just kind of think to ourselves like this was a good kind of prelude um exactly, to what man. we're actually gonna get that's that's what i wouldn't have I'm, I'm forever the optimist here i want it to be followed up by something for sure, like for sure. a bit more substantial definitely lovely i'm with you i was thinking of giving this thing a five too yeah i, yeah. I think rich brian is what brings us down a lot because I, I think a lot of his lyrics mm -hmm. are just really shallow and often really really corny and uh, some of the hooks yeah. are a bit a bit weak and uh yeah I, and i think again just topically thematically this thing is just all over the place and you know, to a frustrating degree thank you so much for joining me on this review liam it's been an absolute pleasure thank you for having me <laughs> stay, hey stay, stay <laughs> hydrated folks you know you can you can give them the from from the man himself you can get the stay stay safe and stay hydrated folks thanks amazing. for watching amazing what a king what a king the sailor by rich brian there's our review thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye